Hi, I'm Ramiz, the developer of Avocado, and today we will show you how to create dissolve effect with how to implement the glowing correctly in Unity 2019.3. Before we starting, make sure that you have installed the uh, universal rendering pipeline and create a new rendering pipeline if you don't have already one by right click create rendering universal rendering pipelines and forward renderer let's name it to the renderer and then activate that as a default from edit settings click on graphics set that rendering pipeline also go to quality make sure that there also then we need to check the HDR to show the glowing effect for this tutorial I've, I've prepared a sprite I've drawn some parts of a character I've been working on to use it in this tutorial so let's drag and drop it into scene let's now create our shader create shader to the renderer unlit sprit, sprite let's name it dissolve and we need to create a material to assign that uh, shader graph to it let's name the material dissolve material drag and drop the shader on it then drag the material into the sprite you want to apply the effect to it you will see here a message that the material doesn't have main texture and I will show you how to solve that easily now Let's open the shader graph and make some space. Create new node, sample texture 2D, and add the property texture 2D, which will be our sprite. Make sure that the reference is named underscore main text to remove that message we got on the, the sprite. Let's select our sprite then we can drag and drop the texture to the into the sample texture node to see the results we can link the RGB to the color and make the preview to quad the idea of this shader is to use a noise to control the sprite alpha uh, so let's create new node simple noise We can control how much noise we need. I think 150 would be suitable for this project. Then create node multiply to multiply the noise with the sprite alpha. We can start seeing that how those two alphas blend perfectly. But we also need the colors of our main sprite. So let's create combine node and combine the new alpha with the RGB colors of our sprite and link that to the color place at the master node to control the noise we need a step node the purpose of that or the idea of that to control to control all the values of each point alpha between 0 and 1 and what steps are needed to convert all the points of the, our sprite from its alpha to 1 or to 0 so let's set this to 0 0.1.5 for now and we create a new vector 1 dissolve amount to control uh, or to expose that property in our material or to be able to control this via code let's link that to the step and set it to 0 0.5 as default with that dissolve amount we can make the sprite totally disappear or reappear again but we also need to draw like an outline 
of the dissolve effect, like burning effect maybe you can say. So we need to add the dissolve amount to a value of maybe 0.1, which will represent the outline of our dissolve effect. Then we need to redo the step again, but after adding that outline value. So let's drag the output of add to the simple noise again. As you can see now, we got a step bigger than the previous one. So now let's subtract the last one from the previous one to get the outline of the dissolve. Now to control the color of this uh, outline, we multiply the result of subtract and we create a new property color and we name it dissolve color and set the reference to dissolve color to be able to control that via code let's drag and drop the color and link it to multiply and make sure to set the color mode to HDR to, to show the glow. Let's set any random color for now. I like the purple, so... Let's set that. Make sure that the alpha is to set to the maximum and increase the intensity somehow to 3. Now we need to multiply the outline with our sprite alpha to only cover the edges of our sprite. Drag the multiply and the sprite alpha. And finally we add the outline to our sprite. Then we link that to the color point at the master node. Let's save and check how this is working in the scene. As you can see, we can control the dissolve amount to control the to show the dissolve effect. And as you can see, the glow effect is not visible yet because we need to add the post processing which is now integrated into the main camera in the new Unity 2019.3. So let's select the main camera, add volume, then create new profile for post-processing and add override, post-processing, bloom. Check the th threshold and intensity. Let's make them something like nine for both. Then go to the dissolve color and increase the intensity to show the glow. But seems it's not showing that yet. Oh, I think I forgot to check the post processing on my main camera. So let's go to the main camera and check post processing. Play some with the threshold and uh, the intensity till you get the glow you would like to see. Setting the threshold to 5 and intensity to 2 seems good for me. So let's check that. How it looks when we change from 0 to 1. Seems cool. I like it. Now let's create a code to control that nicely. Let's name it Dissolve Controller. Let's add the variables we need. We need a private material, let's name it mat, and public float dissolve. Let's define the material to get the component, sprite renderer, and get the material from our sprite. And we also need a bool called is dissolving 
to know if we are dissolving out or dissolving in. Then we can link those to some keys. Maybe if we click the A button, so we set the dissolving to true, we start dissolving out, and if we click the S button, we dissolving in. And we are, if we are dissolving, we set the default, uh, the dissolve amount. If it is more than zero, we need to decrease it over time to reach zero. So we set dissolve amount minus equal time dot delta time, and we can set and control the dissolve speed by creating a float dissolve speed and multiply that with time dot delta time. And finally, we set the dissolve amount on the material itself by using the material.set float command and input the name exactly as in the shader graph and we set that to the dissolve amount. Now let's save and test and don't forget to set the speed value above zero. Let's set it to one for now. And here you go, enjoy some nice dissolving effect. But as you can see, it's not disappearing totally, there are some dots can be seen on screen. So instead of setting that to get down to zero, we set it to minus 0 0.1 to make the sprite totally disappear and reappear again. Now let's make our code more efficient and more clean by creating two functions, one for the dissolve out and one for the dissolve in, and move the part related to dissolve out to it. And also we need to control the speed and the color, so let's pass to the dissolve out a float called speed and a color. Then we need to create two colors, one for the dissolve out and one for the dissolve in. And to control the color we use the material.setColor command and we make sure that we set the same name within our shader graph. We create now the dissolve out the same way. Then we call the dissolve out when we are dissolving and we pass the speed and out color the same we do for dissolve in when we are not dissolving and we set the speed and color then make sure that the color usage attribute is set to true true to be able to uh, set the HDR colors and the intensity and the alpha increase the alpha of each color to maximum and set the intensity something above uh, 0 maybe 2.5 and here you go, you created a great dissolve effect with awesome glowing. I hope you enjoyed our video and please subscribe if you liked it and see you soon.